encapsulation in programming is really important to understand because it's going to make your code much safer to execute. Now, let's say you have some kind of variable. You have a bunch of code wrapped up in a function. Now, you can imagine if these were available to all of the software running in your program, all of the various functions and loops and things. And then imagine you came along and you forgot that your variable was called i and you used i in here. Well, these two things would start to interfere and you'd get all kinds of weird, almost untraceable bugs. So this is where encapsulation stops this kind of behavior. And how it does that is primarily by wrapping these things up inside classes, which you should be familiar with by now. So in our class, we have a bunch of variables and we have a bunch of functions or methods. And all of these items we can make private. And what does private mean? Well, private means that some other class, function, variable, doesn't matter what, cannot access these directly. Unless I make some of these public or I allow the functions to change the variables themselves inside of that class or the instance of that class. So that means in practice, when you have I in a class, some other class can use I and never shall the two be confused. They are completely different. And encapsulation also actually happens inside of classes themselves. So if I had a function like this, and I used I inside of it. And then I had another function, which I'll call J. And I used I equal to naught in there. These two would have no idea that the other one existed. And this is called scoping in a way. It means that this I is only available to this function and likewise with this i. And of course, there are ways to override this, but in general, you don't really want to override that behavior because encapsulation allows you to encapsulate things that shouldn't be modified by other parts of your code.